came across a video from a popular talk show from Uganda and it's called the Unpopular Opinion. And it's a group of ladies who just air out issues, all kinds of things you will find there. And this particular video was interesting because it ties in with what we're talking about today. And this lady was just saying how hot she was when this relationship ended. But then she imagines if she had probably... I had sex with this guy, then it would have been more hurtful for her. And she says um, to women, if or and men, if you've set your life out to live a celibate life until you find the one and walk down the aisle, let nobody take you off that path. And she says it's not common. Most people will, will tell you all things that will guilt trip you and all of that. And that is what we're talking about today. We're talking about dry spell versus discipline. What is what? Which is which? Can they be pushed together? Are they, can you, what, what are we doing? <laughs> and it came from, you start dating and this is very common. Ladies also talk about dry spell. Yes. Especially those who are used mm -hmm. to, um, sleeping around a spell is a period of deprivation so when you talk about dry spells it means there's a period of deprivation mm -hmm. otherwise you have been having yes, it yes, 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 only yes. now there's an interruption of supply yes. so it's an interruption Demand is still of high. something yes of something that was already you are actually feeling bad yes. that now you can't get so the a spell insinuates a person who lives a sexual life but now they can't get it for one reason or other okay but it's more language it's more common with men mm -hmm. that's what they used to guilt trip you as soon as they start dating you like, why are you keeping me on dry spell oh and they've just this is just a month of now trying to build a thing to somewhere and they start now saying you're keeping them hungry yeah and i wanted to ask you where that language came from and whether the shallowness of the deception in it why can't everybody see it mm -hmm. now if you're living that kind of um sleeping with people it's okay you can talk like that yeah. but the reason people protest is because this is not their life and they're being made to feel guilty yes as if you are supposed to meet my needs now and you're not doing it you're doing me unfair <laughs> and i asked you when people are single whose responsibility is it to control their sexual urges is mm -hmm. it the person they're dating no <laughs> we are living in a society where um the right way has been so diminished that the wrong way of doing things, the no, lack of self-control is the, is the one that is being normalized as if uh, these things happen this way. Yeah. Let's, let's repeat the following. There's nothing casual about sex. There's no casual sex. The very fact that people think there's casual shows how casual they are themselves yeah. with sacred things. Whoever invented sex made it so, so multi-layered that it, it was supposed to create a deeper bond when people were married. And because the enemy is not a creator, he's a distorter. He came to distort what the creator had made sacred. So mm. now we make it spot. Yeah. <laughs> mm. We have other names for it. Smashing. Hey. <laughs> we come up with names that casualize as if it's just a thing they did. <laughs> you know, we, we hit it. We <laughs> they, they make it look like it's something you can just do on the go, on the run. It's a snack. <laughs> this guy smashed. I mean, it's... <laughs> you know? Yes. Reduced to an animal level. Others tell you you came from monkeys to give you permission to think, be like monkeys. Okay. I told you to be careful with the language, eh? Yes, please. The language people use creates rooms in your thinking mm. to behave that way. Yeah. We are cousins of monkeys. So it's not very unusual to behave like a monkey. <laughs> We have monkey-like <laughs> behaviors. Yes. The one who created you told you you came from above. But these people are telling you you came from below. So that they can take you below easily. Yes. <laughs> you know, you are told to name the monkey. Now they're telling you the monkey is your ancestor. <laughs> <laughs> the one who created you told you, I'm to give them the names. Yes. And it says that whatever the name he gave, Adam yes. gave, yeah. that was the name. Meaning, yes. these animals had names already. Yeah. He was downloading them from the dictionary, mm -hmm. from the catalog, mm -hmm. where he was invented from and landed here to manage as an ambassador yes. of the one who sent him down there. Yeah. 
But these people want to, di to dis they know when they miss, they dislocate your source in your mind. Now, you have no bearing for your behavior. Mm -hmm. You can do anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it's to say, with a, if a person talks of dry spell, stop the conversation of a relationship between the two of you. Stop it. That introduction of conflict of values. Now discuss values. Now discuss principles. Now discuss self-control. Discuss, um, discuss what does sex mean to you? Is it for satisfaction? Mm -hmm. Is it because you feel the need for release? Mm -hmm. they, they have called men animals, saying men need uh, sex like food. Yes. They do it for release. Mm -hmm. And don't deny it to him because when he needs it, he is out be beside himself. He can't, he can't function. Whenever he wants it, just give it to him. Oh. The advice were given in weddings. Oh. <laughs> the one we give you is an auntie wondering, is that how you live here, sir? Mm. <laughs> he won't <S> function. <laughs> <laughs> and it's meant to look like it's for him alone. Yes. Mm. <laughs> You're the one who's constantly giving. That's why men sometimes are shocked when they get there and they realize she may have higher drive than you. Yeah. Now you're used to chasing, you're being chased, so you run. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what to do. <laughs> lion is a hunter. But yes. if an animal ambushes the lion, yes. first of all, for self preservation instinct, <laughs> take flight before you figure out who it is. Yes. And because we have been so misled to think it's all about us men. Mm. Yes. So we push ladies about sex thinking uh, she's supposed to do it for my sake. Even her, she has as much drives. If she's normal like you, yeah. she has as much desires like you. Yes. And she has, uh, she has kept herself composed. So I want to tell you the solutions why people talk about dry spell when, uh, so the moment a person brings it, forget about me allowing sex between us. Let's come now to the conversation where that came from. Yeah. Why do you think? Mm. And why, why have you been doing it? Yeah. It insinuates you're just deprived shortly. You've been doing it. Mm -hmm. What kind of life are you living? Where are you going? Mm -hmm. So I'll tell you three principles. Okay. The reason a person is asking for indulgence is because they have refused the discipline of self-control, delayed gratification, exercising, restraining their, their needs to be met later, exercising how to Tamp down the temptation. People feed themselves. Now, again, you are shaped by what you expose yourself to. That's a, techno la that's a technical language to say yeah. the, the sunlight grows trees, by, but it's not by one hour of a flash. No. Trees need sunlight. To sit under it and absorb the energy long enough to manufacture their own substance. <laughs> yes. Okay? Yes. There are some things you need, like truth. Sit and it so long to absorb it until you manufacture your own assets. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> That's powerful. <laughs> Somebody said, we understand a child who is afraid of darkness, but the tragedy of life is when adults are afraid of the light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when a child is afraid of darkness, we understand. Yes. The child thinks they are ghosts there. Yes. And children think the ghosts are under the chair, some mm. under the bed. Mm -hmm. Somebody say when you grow up, you realize the ghosts are usually next to you <laughs> on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> what changes as you grow up? <laughs> Even there's a discussion of what changes. Yes. <laughs> oh my God! I've never heard that one. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, it's 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 truth. Discipline, principles, yes. perspective, godliness, character, it's like sunshine. Mm -hmm. It only forms substance in you when you sit on it long enough. Okay. And you can't sit, you can't get it when you are under another bigger tree mm -hmm. of lust, of fleshly living, of consuming content that is so inflaming mm -hmm. and i told you today you don't need to write, to write the word pornography to see pornography no scroll no more channels i saw a lady wearing a net later and she has nothing inside yeah. a transparent dress and she said am i beautiful i say is this facebook where have we gotten here 
What if now I was with my son? Some things make me worry. They make me worry. We were flipping chairs with my sister one day and a nude photo. Sofa sets and a nude photo on a Google. Sofa sets. <laughs> <laughs> I said, who have we gotten to? Oh, how shall we shelter our children? But again, we can't deny them to the truth. We just have to develop new strategies. Yeah. Of introducing them to the mess. Telling them this mess will not go away. You are the solution. This darkness, you are the light. So why people, why people are hiding away from the light? from which they can get chlorophyll or make energy from it's because it's uncomfortable mm -hmm. the sun b gives you both light and heat it's yes. hot it's uncomfortable mm -hmm. why people have lived so long having sex talking about dry spells because they fled the light okay because <laughs> it's uncomfortable yeah <laughs> they want to comfort and it says somewhere literally that the light came to the world and he came to his own, his own men re refused light because their deeds are evil. The reason people fight truth, fight the essence of character and self-control and virtue, is because it's uncomfortable. Yeah. And they don't want to admit that. The moment you try to say that, they call you perfect or religious, holier than thou, mm -hmm. holy Joe, another sinner judging, another sinner for sinning differently. We are all sinners. I told you in the world, you have two categories. Mm -hmm. Saints who think they are sinners and yes. sinners who think they are saints. Yes. Us too. Uh, we shall be given another body in heaven. So they are destroying the body with alcohol, with careless sex. In heaven, it shall be given a new body. Which heaven? <laughs> Which degree of blasphemy have people gotten to? Yeah. Because the sinner thinks they are a saint. The saint thinks they are a sinner. They are always repenting and asking for mercy. <laughs> and asking yeah. to be made better. Mm. <laughs> you know, Martin Luther King Jr. said, uh, wisdom begins when you realize the extent of your ignorance. When you realize how much you don't know. And Plato said, I'm the wisest man on earth because I know I know nothing. <laughs> so when you realize how little you know, you develop hunger and respect and humility. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when it is how far I am to be made like the model man who was brought here to make me like him. Mm. When I realize how far I am that he was never sick. Why do I fall sick? And he was in a world that has sickness. Mm -hmm. I'm very far away from the degree. What, why do I suffer delays? He was never late. Why do I get angry? He was never few. There's a time he whipped people, but that was righteous. That was right. I should whip. I should do the same there. Yeah. I, by the time we live like him, when I remember the model where it is and how far I am, I have no time saying. But at least I'm better than this guy. <laughs> but at least. But at least. <laughs> <laughs> we like comparing with the next. Yeah. Or who I was yesterday. No, the model is ahead. Yes. <laughs> Come up where he is the example. <laughs> You know, and part of what uh, you struggle with every day, especially as men, because the ego has been pressed. Mm -hmm. He said, not my will. Will and ego are the same. Not my will, but your will. We have not learned to say that as men. We like saying, no, what I wanted. Yeah. What my plan. Yeah. And even we are, we are taught to, to not offend his ego. No, no, no. He, no, no. He's it's very fragile. <laughs> you see now? Very, very, <laughs> well, like a bomb. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know the two forms yes. of fragile. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, 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 with the moment a person mentions dry spell and they're not married, ask them, now I realize we're in two different worlds. Yeah. For me, when you're single, that's the period to develop character. That's the period to absorb truth and form the substance of life that is pure and undefiled. The time you wake up. I may have a child already, some people are not virgins. Yeah. I may have done it before, but after I sat under truth long enough, after I took it in, after I understood what I'm here for, what I'm supposed to be made, I woke up. I accepted. I can see you're still at war, running away from yeah. truth. Mm -hmm. So thank you for bringing the discussion up to tell me where you're standing. I realize we can't go anywhere. Yeah. Even if you stop today, you have a long journey to go before you get where I am. Yeah. And I wanted to be equally yoked. Avoid evangelizing people, then you marry them. <laughs> because they are novice, yes. they are still seedling. Yeah. You have been under the sun for 10 years, 20 years. Mm. Then they are just now budding. Yes. You have hope for them, but you are not on the same level. No. <laughs> Where you see from, as somebody said, when you hear turtles complaining uh -huh. that you are causing a lot of dust, uh -huh. you may be a giraffe, and even your normal movement is very threatening to them. Yes. You are eating on another level. 
yes. they are eating on their level. Yes. Sometimes the person who has just woken up to themselves, maybe by, by interacting with you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of compliment when a person changes their life because of you. Mm -hmm. You challenge them until they changed. They mm -hmm. took a U-turn. Mm -hmm. They tell you, thank you very much, you changed. So you may feel like this is a person who is open to you and you can actually help them grow and marry them. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a graduation. You hear how much we have approximated? <laughs> and you say too much rounding off. Eh? Yes. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's because there are emotions. Yeah. Because there was hope. Mm. Because they they wanted you. And after they had your position, they got challenged. Sometimes some fake to have signed up for your philosophy. Mm. Tell mm. them to do that for their own good. Mm. For their own future. Yes. <laughs> if they want, they can look up to you as an example of the people who once touched their life and you are humbled. Yes. <laughs> but in the meantime, yeah. <laughs> we can never marry your students, always marry your colleagues. Okay? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I know some things require digestive. Yes. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> The moment Being the mathematics, <laughs> it's not mathematicking. <laughs> the moment you're in the position of a teacher, yes. remember we always qualify this and say after you get married, you still teach each other some things. Yeah. But it will be from a colleague level, a classmate level, mm. not a teacher-student position. Mm. The moment you marry a student, that power dynamic will never change. The power differential remains constant throughout life. Remember that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's why sometimes men marry a girl who was just fresh from college and having nothing. Yeah. And he would give her a thousand shillings. And then because the differential, he was very comfortable, that kind mm. of a girl. Yes. <laughs> but she's so restless and progressive. She overtakes him in earning, overtakes him in networking, overtakes him in career ranking, overtakes him in, 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 in society, in posture, recognizability, understanding, wisdom, depth. Mm -hmm. And then she's up here and he's trying to relate the way. Yeah. <laughs> One day my wife was told by the dad that he, she must never say no when he is giving her pocket money because that is his position and it will never change. Mm -hmm. You can become a millionaire. But the 500 I used to give you, okay. you may have given him another tip also which is bigger, but this is from dad to daughter. daughter. <laughs> Yeah. And this is me. Don't say now, Dad. I don't need this anymore. Hmm? Take it. <laughs> yeah. And I like that. Yeah. It illustrated this principle permanently. Yes. There are some people. It is from their heart. It's not about how much you have. Yeah. It's how they express their love to you, and say, I, "You are all my daughter." So, hey, giving all of them. Now this is your fair. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and he enjoys giving his daughter's fair. <laughs> Doesn't care who is president of what, <laughs> who is child of what. Yes. The same way he would give you when you're going back to school. The same way. I am the one who gives my daughter's fare when they visit me. <laughs> and I like that heart. I say, I want to borrow that. Yes. As a dad, let me, that is my position. <laughs> Go and achieve. I'm happy you're achieving. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy there is what you also reciprocate maybe. But my position, when you marry, when you are below, that dynamic doesn't change even in love relationships. Always marry somebody, you are on the same thinking level. They may have more money now, they may have worked ahead of you, but the reasoning, the dreaming, yeah. the visions. Yes. <laughs> there are people who don't have money now, but you know that's their class. Soon they will have it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. there are people you know very well, even if they don't have a car now, they look like they have it, and I know they'll get it soon. Their way of life, even if they don't have millions now, these are millionaires, it's just a matter of time. Yeah. And there are people who are who inherited millions, and they are not millionaires in their mind. So it will seep through. Mm -hmm. Their behavior doesn't, uh, it does not meet the standards of this kind of life. So soon they will disqualify themselves from yeah. it. They will kill themselves. One guy was bought a car that's 30 million, it could go for 300 kilometers per hour. So he drove it to the seatbelt and died from it. You can die from things if you don't deserve, behave according to them. So yeah. the, 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 the values <coughs> you're going to discuss with this person the moment they mention dry spells, tell them, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what you call dry spell to me is discipline, is a period of growth, a period of becoming, is principles. And I may not be virgin, perhaps I used to sleep with girls in the past. Mm -hmm. Because there are women who want to sleep with us to check whether we can satisfy them. Mm -hmm. They move around sampling men. Yeah. I don't know how much body count they have by now, but <laughs> I, I will respect your path. I just don't want to become part of it. Yeah. <laughs> don't add me to the people <laughs> you support. 
is to say, the moment a person mentions mention that, they are saying, I'm coming from a different world. Yes. The second principle is this. Now, people who have refused, this uh, 2116 of Proverbs says, those who, those who depart from the path of wisdom will soon rest in the company of the dead. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, those who have departed from prudence yeah. and the truth, yeah. they're very hostile. <laughs> so you may not always have engagement with them. They're very defensive and they know how to crush, how to say sharp words to silence when you try to challenge them. They have built a philosophy that allows them to misbehave anyhow. Yeah. And they have bought into this, you know, men are like cocks, you know, those male chicken. Mm. You, know, uh, you know, women are, they have built philosophies that allow them to do anything yes. as if it's normal. Yeah. This is African, you know, this is a culture of they mm -hmm. have heaped on themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even teachers. Yeah. So yeah, that is uh, these teachers that they have heaped on themselves also uh, I think first time of the four. They gather themselves around them teachers to tell them what they want to hear. In Isaiah that is they say they form companies, they form groupings to do to carry out plans that are not my plans. Yeah. They gather together to comfort each other. That this is the norm nowadays. Yes. Stop saying abstinence or <laughs> this is the norm nowadays. They have already grouped. So the moment you sense a person is coming from another old view, don't always voice yours. Eh? <coughs> Please. Don't explain why you live the way you live, especially when you realize you are at loggerheads. Yeah. That suggestion to have sex itself. Sometimes it's enough to say, mm, I'm sorry. I have to go. <laughs> you know, and uh, uh, sometimes I was telling my wife, I thank God for the blocking button. Yeah. So that I don't have to explain and keep. Mm -hmm. It's a way of saying that person should not call me again. Yes. And there are people who, the way they come at you, engaging them even to tell them to get out is draining. It's infuriating. They, they have a way to get in you. They get under your nerves, they prick, they know, they annoy, and they have nothing to lose. Yeah. Sometimes you use block button in real life. Yeah. Not the one on phone, no. but refusing to engage. So the second uh, solution when a person begins to adjust sex is to know, mm, this woman has been doing that, that's the life she's living. Yes. And plucking her from that lifestyle to this one is a tall order. Yeah. From There's a guy who tried to tell the girl her mouth was smelling. He was insulted together with his mother. <laughs> now, Instead of attracting that degree of insults yes. and injuring your, you know, sometimes people can injure your confidence, yeah. your self-esteem. Now they, they attack, you're left bleeding. Instead of fights that have nothing to win, yeah. it is better to acknowledge that the market is mixed. Uh, even when you realize it's a con man, you don't always have to call them out as a con man. No. They call you, realize it's a con, just block and move on. Yes. Sometimes if you're bored, you can start ex <laughs> entertain them. <laughs> My wife would put loudspeaker and take it to the TV for the guy to listen to TV. <laughs> <laughs> no, let him listen to news. <laughs> Surely, are you that idea? <laughs> what oh, are you doing with the con man? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, actually, I was looking for something to distract him. Here is one. <laughs> oh, they start stories. Okay, so you say, so very good. Oh, all okay, right. Yeah. In fact, uh, I also have another. Do you think you can help me that? Yeah. It <laughs> Then laughing, laughing. <laughs> okay. Sometimes if yeah. you also feel you are you wanted something to just <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can change the rat to do exercise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but for me I poison <laughs> <laughs> You know. Sometimes the cat is bored and you're not eating the rat. It just yes. releases it, runs, <laughs> catches it, releases it just for entertainment. Yeah. It's to say you don't always preach your values when you realize there's a loggerheads. Mm -hmm. You are not called to change everyone. That's Some true. people are knocking at your door to steal from you. Mm -hmm. When you put a gate, when you put a farm gate on your house, it's enough now to go and mind your business inside the house. Yes. You don't say anybody who tries to touch this gate, I will always call police for them. You mm. don't stand there. Mm. Mm. Yes, you would always uh, help police to arrest these. But that's not your preoccupation. Mm. So stop trying to correct everybody who, come, who, who, who you realize they live life this way. They have chosen their life. Yes. The moment you realize I had put you over there, only to realize you're down here. And that goes also to people who hide that they had a child or they hide a thing that you know is very dishonest, mm. only to realize it that later. Mm. 
Yeah. Don't say they tell you I could I, if I tell you if I told you you'd have left. You see, if I if, if you hide a fundamental truth, I have not related with you as you are. You deceived me to who you are. So after I know who you are now actually yeah. I have an obligation to leave. Mm. Are you following? Mm. <laughs> If you hid the truth, when I yes. finally find the truth, it tells yes. me you're very dishonest. Yes. You're conning me. Yeah. You've led me on, mm. making me believe you are this way when you're actually this way. Yeah. Some of the bad news we don't like uh, repeating is that uh, your social status changes after you get a child. So continue having sex, hoping you don't get a child. But just remember, should you get a child? Mm -hmm. Should you conceive? Whether you are about you try to kill the child, there is no reverse gear. Nope. You're just a, a father of a dead child. Of a child you murdered. Just a mother of a child you murdered. Yeah. You're both a mother and a murderer. Mm -hmm. You're both a father and a murderer. You're destroying your record father. After you get the child, reorganize with your new social status. And if you get a second child, second child changes your social status in another way. You appear like you have an existing family. Two children are regarded as an existing family. So whoever mm -hmm. is marrying is also adopting a, 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 a family. family. And it makes it easier, easier when they also have their family. You mutually adopt a blended, blended family. Now you are, yes. Mm -hmm. So now you are, you are shopping streets change. Yes. People are maintaining a lot of dreamy hopes. Yes. Uh, one was asking me, uh, I was telling him about ABCDs of dating. Okay. A, learn the person as a friend. Okay. B, if you like them, marry them officially in a ceremony on one day in front of witnesses, family and friends. That's B. B. C, have sex. D, have children. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Please. Yeah. <laughs> but people are starting with D. Yes. C, yes. sex, children, then hoping they'll end up with mar... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the number two <laughs> sometimes doesn't come. <laughs> So she was telling me, some of us did DCBA. Yeah. <laughs> Too early in life. Mm. Now we are here with single. You, are, you have children. You are never quite married, but you are in a thing. Oh, you're already divorced and you're just 28. Oh, you're with. And so I was telling them about forced time. When you force time, you yeah. get a false season. False season. <laughs> <laughs> Only 30 already single with three children. False season. 29 and divorced. False when you force time, you yeah. bring things forward. Yeah. They were not deal. And you find yourself in the middle of nowhere. You are 30 divorced, now you are dating other divorces, you are 48. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 do you get the quagmire? I do. I do. It's to say, this person is announcing they are standing in a different place. Yes. And the last thing is to say, you don't always have to Tell them, I don't judge you. Maybe there was a time I was like you. There was a time I was talking the way you're talking. Mm. I genuinely hope you're on a journey. And you'll be done with that careless phase of life. Yeah. And one day you come to maturity. But as for me, I want a person whom we share values. And don't feel judged. Just know that we are not in the same league and I have to go. So it, the, don't be accused of judging them. Just say, I evaluated and I realized we don't match. Yes. Call it judging or evaluating or anything. Yeah. But I know we all examine it before we buy. That's so I examined true. and I decided I'm not buying. Thank you. Just to reiterate on a few things that you've said, what the dry spell actually means is a period of deprivation, an interruption of supply. Then that shows you that they were in indulgence before and they are hoping that you'll also indulge with you. It means this person has been having sex out there and they want you to be the next source. You can't even tell whether they are dating for marriage or just for momentary satisfaction while taking marriage, talking about marriage just to get the sex. So the litmus test for someone who's shopping for a life partner is their degree of patience and self-control when it comes to sex. If they cannot contain themselves with a few months or a year before you complete the process of getting married, can you even trust them to control themselves and be faithful while they're inside the marriage? Can you?